Can I just say how happy I am that it is finally, finally sweater weather here in Southern California. It is finally under 60 degrees in the morning. You have no idea how happy that makes me. Fall is my favorite season and I pretty much look forward to it always. So I have my sweater going on. I've had maybe two or three cups of coffee, so I have a little bit of zzz this morning. And today we're going to be discussing handbag updates. Oh yeah. So I asked you guys on Instagram the bags that you would like more information on as far as how they've been wearing, things to look out for and stuff like that. So I have a total of six bags and I also wanted to share how long I've had them because I think that's important when it comes to handbag updates. And let me know if this is something that you guys enjoy and I can make more of these videos in the future and you guys can let me know which handbags you would like me to discuss. All right, so before we dive right in, I just want to say one really quick thing. I used to be someone who used to put the majority of her bags in bubbles. I was so scared and I was so worried that something would happen to them that I felt like I didn't really get to fully enjoy and experience some of the bags that I had in my collection. Uh, some of them are long gone. Others, I felt like I would always leave them on the shelf just because I was, again, so, so worried. Uh, I no longer do that. I no longer feel that way. I am mindful as to how I use some of them, but for the most part, I am all about enjoying the handbag to the fullest. And I wear the bag, the bag doesn't wear me. Not saying that what I thought of before was wrong, but I really like the headspace that I'm at now when it comes to how I enjoy my handbags, I feel a little bit more free when I enjoy them. I don't freak out over every little thing. And you guys are going to see that in this video. So these bags, I don't freak out about them. I don't baby them. I enjoy them. Yes, I am somewhat mindful, but for the most part, it's just balls to the wall, baby. Enjoy the bag because life is way too short. So again, just keep that in mind. All right. So now let's begin with the bag that pretty much was the idea behind this video. And that is the Lueve mini puzzle bag. And this is in the color, you know, I looked up the color before I sat down because I always forget and I have forgotten. <laughs> I think it's dusty rose, uh, dusty pink, dusty blush, dirty pink. I don't know. I will put the exact name in the description box below, but this guy right here. So I've had it for six months and this bag has been wearing like a champ. I absolutely love it. There is not a stitch out of place. I have no wear and tear on the corners. I don't have, I don't have, I don't have any wear and tear on this bag at all. And trust me when I tell you this bag has seen some things. Oh yeah, it has seen some things this past summer. I get a lot of questions if I prefer the mini over the small. And this is the one time when I can wholeheartedly say that I don't have a preference on either size. I love them both equally. The small size I used quite a bit last year and earlier this year, but I think that because the summer was so nasty, I started using the mini a lot more often and it's been, it's been fabulous. I, like I said before, I love the size. And you know what's funny is that you guys have heard, especially if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, many of you know how I feel about the whole one size fits all strap. Uh, this does come with a removable strap, but obviously it doesn't have any adjustments. And normally that is, that is a major con for me when it comes to handbags, uh, because I, I like the fact that you have, you know, when you have an adjustment, you have a little bit more versatility with it. And this is also another time when I don't gripe about the size of this strap. And I think it's because it fits my body frame exactly where I want it. So I have no issues with it, whether I go to use it crossbody or on my shoulder. I love where it lays. I know some people end up putting a little knot on here just to kind of give it either a different look or to have it be a little higher up on their torso. But for the most part, I, I love it like this, whether I use it again, crossbody on my shoulder, or if I decide to carry it on, you know, in my hand like this, um, I have, I have no cons about this bag, which is so crazy to me. Uh, but like I said, no issues with wear and tear, no issues with pop stitches. Uh, I have rubbed this bag against a brick wall that we have by the office so many times. And every time I do it, I'm like, oh man, I, I, I already know that there's going to be a bunch of scratches on there, a bunch of like um, scratch marks on the side. Absolutely nothing. You know, where other handbags that I have within my collection would normally show that, you know, that abrasive surface rubbing on it, this has had no issues. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Lueve has some of the best leather on the market, some of the best leather on the planet. It is very durable. It is very hard wearing. And like I said before, 
so far no issues with um, you know with wear and tear no scratch marks it's it's absolutely amazing now when it comes to the puzzle bag uh, whether it's the mini or small it doesn't matter I remember once upon a time I thought that this little flap would be cumbersome I thought it would be kind of a pain in the butt uh, because I felt like you wouldn't be able to see everything at a glance and that is not the case my friends absolutely not even though this is the mini size I know I hate saying it but uh, it's very, very mighty. I love the fact that this bag doesn't have a slip pocket on the interior and it doesn't have a zipper compartment either because it is just one open compartment. And because of that, I feel like you have a lot more, you can really maximize your space. I don't feel like I fumble to get my items in or, in or out of it. It's just, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. It carries everything that I need for the day and then some. No issues whatsoever. I just... I love it. Of course, you're not going to be able to carry like this ginormous wallet or anything like that. You have to go a little bit more compact, but it's, it is such a joy to use. I love this bag, a smooth zipper and the hardware. I mean, the hardware has maybe some, some rubbing up against the other hardware here. It's not even that noticeable really. And there's barely any hairline scratches. It's just, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I recommend these puzzle bags 100%, whether it's the medium, the small, the mini, the nano, it doesn't matter. I absolutely love them all. So this guy, again, has been wearing like a champ and um, I have put it through the ringer <laughs> this past summer for sure. Uh, all right, now let's move on to another bag that I got a lot of questions on and that is the Goyard St. Louis uh, Tote. This is in the PM size and the color green. So I've had this bag for almost a year. I got it for my birthday last year uh, and I haven't used it as much these last maybe four or five months, but when I first got it, I used it quite a bit. Uh, I am happy to say that I have not had any issues with wear and tear either. There's no uh, crinkling on this leather. I know that sometimes on the, on the pre-love market, you can see that some of these have some really gnarly wear marks or crack marks here. And so far mine has been uh, pretty good. Um, you know, f a funny thing is that I, I think that this bag gets um, a lot of comparisons to the Neverfull just because of its size and uh, how simple it is. And with the Neverfull, I feel like I really end up overstuffing that bag sometime. Like I can fit my kitchen sink, your kitchen sink, and you know, Betty's kitchen sink too. You guys have heard me say that a million times. With this one, I don't feel as inclined to want to overstuff it. Uh, and I think it's really because it's so lightweight, it's so pliable that I know people are going to hate me for saying this, but it feels cheap compared to the Neverfull. Uh, it just feels a lot flimsier. I still love this bag, um, but I just don't feel as comfortable overstuffing it. And I know that's one of the things that even on their website or with the paperwork that it comes with, it says not to overstuff this bag. This bag, its intended purpose was for the beach. So the, you know, the whole idea was that you'd go to the beach, you'd take off your wet clothes or whatever it was, you turn this bag inside out so that way your wet um, garments were up against this and you didn't have to worry about getting this fabric lining or this fabric part wet and then you were good to go. You know, so I completely get that idea and some people say that you shouldn't overstuff them. Some people do, and they've had great success with the bag in general. But um, it's not, I, I don't consider this to be a bag as of right now. That's a forever bag. Uh, I love it, but it's not one that I'm like, oh my God, it's amazing. You have to get it type of thing. But yeah, it just feels kind of, I don't know. And I really, <sighs> the sheen that it has kind of gives it that whole plasticky vibe. I know what they do, the process for it, but it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. Those are just my honest opinions on it. But as far as how this one has been wearing, uh, without overstuffing it, it's been wearing great. I do end up using an organizer on uh, with this bag. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I really like the sag that it has. Um, one thing I will say is that I love the fact that you don't see Goyard as often as you do the Neverfull. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You guys know that I love it when I see a fellow Neverfull lover. Um, 
but it is nice when you, you know, you see this maybe once in a blue moon or what have you. You don't see it as often. So that's just one other thing that I wanted to say. But I do like it. I do enjoy it. It's just not a bag that I'm like, oh my God, you have to go get it right now. It's the greatest thing since sliced bread. At least not for me. Everyone, uh, you know, will, will see this differently. Moving on to the Louis Vuitton Felici. This is in the Scarlet Empreinte Leather. Uh, I've had this uh, since... Valentine's Day this year, the hubs gifted it to me. And I was a little bit nervous about the Empreinte leather just because of the experiences that I have had with that leather in the past, especially my small leather goods melting. Uh, I am happy to say that that has not been the case with this bag. It has worn beautifully. Uh, I do have a little bit of varnish peeling off on this corner here. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it or not but it's right on this corner there. It's not too, too bad. It's not something that I have to take into the, into the boutique or anything like that. If it gets worse, I might, but I think it's one of those things just because of how this bag is and how you open it up, the constant opening and closing, you're going to see that wear uh, on, this, on this part right there. So I feel like, you know, it's inevitable. It's just one of those things you have to take, um, you have to take as the, the, design, the design of the handbag. Um, but the chain has been wearing beautifully, no issues with scratches, no issues with, I have some hairline scratches, nothing too, too bad. Um, just normal wear and tear on this guy. And these guys, uh, I have used quite a bit within other handbags and they've also been wearing beautifully. No issues with pop stitches, no issues with glazing, and it has a pretty smooth zipper. There we go. I just, uh, I really like how this has been aging and really it hasn't been aging at all because it looks fantastic. Um, but yeah, no issues whatsoever. So that whole, you know, freaking out because it was on prawn leather, you know, I was worried of how it was going to be, um, has been put to rest because it has been wearing pretty, um, pretty fabulously, I should say. Um, yeah, so no issues with the lining. Um, I have a little bit of, it looks like not glazing, but maybe like a glue residue right here. Do you guys see that? Let me get my face out of the, <laughs> right there. But not too, too bad, but it's, it's a great bag. I really like the size too, because it is small. Uh, I don't like to carry these two with the bag. I like to carry them separately because if I do, if I do that, I feel like you're really limited as to what you can carry or how much you can carry without the bag getting too bulky and then having that funky, you know, that funky shape to it. So normally I carry these two in other bags and this one I like completely open uh, because it's wide enough to fit my phone, a card holder, a lipstick, and my keys, no problem. So I wouldn't necessarily say the bare essentials, a little bit more than the bare essentials, um, but it's still quite comfortable and it's not too, too small. I don't think it's very restricting. And I honestly think that you have a little bit more play with it because it is the emprunt leather. So it's a little bit softer uh, and um, you can really get away with, again, having a little bit more play within this bag, but I love it. The color is just, it is delicious. <laughs> you guys have heard me say that in other videos, but that is going to be my word of the year. Uh, it is just absolutely dreamy delicious. I love the fact that it has the gold hardware. I think gold with red is like one of the best combos ever. Uh, and it's just, it's absolutely amazing. And it's very carefree too. No issues with color transfer. And you guys know I wear denim. I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot. All right, so now on to a bag that some of you have asked me to talk a little bit more about because I have been using it so much. Uh, and I even had someone say, what makes this bag so extraordinary because it looks just like a plain old bag. And I am talking about the Balenciaga Everyday Tote in the size small and in the color black. So this bag, I've had it for about a month now, a little bit over a month, and I just cannot seem to put it down. I love it. You guys know I am all about a big bag. I mean, big bags are back, baby. I like the small ones. I like the micro, I like the nano. They're so cute. But come on, a big bag that literally fits all of your junk in here is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Now, what makes this bag so extraordinary? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. This bag is so fantastic in the most ordinary way. 
And I'm not, you know, I'm not sitting here saying that this is the greatest thing since sliced bread by any means whatsoever, but I just like how, how plain it is. I like how quote unquote boring it is because it is just one of those grab and go, don't think about it, such a joy to use bag that goes with literally anything that I am wearing. I like the fact that you just have Balenciaga on the front, that's it. You don't have any other logos on this bag. Uh, I mean, if I just had it like this, you wouldn't know what brand it is. You wouldn't know anything about it. You'd just be like, oh, that chick has a leather tote. That's it. But I, I like that. I like the fact that it doesn't have this whole logo mania thing going on, which is so nuts because I love, 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 I mean, like I love logo mania. I am obsessed with it. Uh, but I like the fact that this has no branding on the backside, just a little small Balenciaga. And for the most part, my hand or my arm always covers this, but it is just literally an open toe. It definitely has that north south design, uh, which normally I'm not too big of a fan on because I think that they're sometimes too tall, but this one absolutely works for my lifestyle. You have one little pocket here with a zipper that I don't really end up using and just an open compartment. That's it. I don't use an organizer for this bag. I like the slouch that it has. I like the fact that it sometimes looks misshapen. I love the fact that it turns into that beautiful mess sometimes. I am all about it. Now, uh, the other day I went to the grocery store and uh, you know how I always end up, I carry, I have so many of like the grocery bags or the cool bags in, in the trunk of my car, right? So I, I always forget them, right? So this time I ran into the grocery store and I'm like, Ugh. at the checkout, I had a bunch of crap and I'm like, okay, I don't wanna get a plastic bag. I'm not gonna run back to my car to go get it. And I was carrying this bag. I fit, I fit all of my stuff in there, right? My wallet, my keys, my sunglasses, everything in here. And I fit my groceries in here. So I had a total, it was like eight pounds worth of red delicious apples. Uh, I had chips in here. Um, what else? I had broccoli, um, just a bunch of random, like, I mean, everyday groceries. I fit everything in here. I remember the hubs looked at me. He's like, are you serious? <laughs> are you, did you seriously put all of the groceries in your bag? I'm like, yeah, I, you know, I wanted to put it to the test nothing happened to it nothing happened to it the varnish is still intact the leather is still intact it doesn't look like it's ripping the seams are still in great condition i just love that i love the fact that i forgot my keep cool bag or whatever the hell they're called and i threw all my groceries in here and the bag was still comfortable for me to somewhat put on my shoulder because the apples i won't lie the apples were <laughs> were were pretty massive but I loved it. I mean, it, it's it's just like the name states, a perfect everyday bag. Uh, I do have a funky stain on here. I don't know like what I got on it. I've tried cleaning it off. This right here, do you guys see that? Probably not. Right there, I got a, a stain on it. I've been trying to clean it and I, I can't get it off. I don't know what it is. I thought maybe it was deodorant. I have some scratches on the interior right there. Do you guys see that? But I, I, I love this bag so much that I feel like in the short amount of time that I've had it, I am like this close to putting it into my forever bag, you know, collection. Cause it's, it's just so ordinary. It's amazing. You know, it doesn't have to have all these bells and whistles. It doesn't have to have all these pockets and all this stuff going on. It's just a plain leather tote that can equal as a grocery bag easily any day of the week. And I am happy about that for sure. I feel like my baby hairs, my wolf hairs, all these hairs are kind of like poof today. Uh, all right, so now on to another bag that many of you asked how it's been wearing because of the color. And that is my white whale, AKA the Chanel Coco Handle. And this is in the size 
small, medium, the one with seven quilts across. I had someone ask, Minnie, why do you always say that when you talk about the bag? Because it depends on the, the website that you're looking at this bag in. Some people call it the medium, some people call it the small. Uh, so I like to give you specific details, the one with the seven quilts across, in case you are looking to add this bag to your collection as well. Um, all right, so I've had this bag for six months now, a little bit over six months, and I promised myself that when I found my white whale, when I found the one, uh, I was going to use it to the fullest and that's exactly what I have done. I've used this bag with denim. I've used this bag with, uh, you know, with lighter colored clothing, the works. And uh, I have not experienced any color transfer on the backside, on the bottom. It's still wearing fabulously. Uh, there is one thing to note though, and I did talk about this in another video, uh, the white has started to yellow. Now I knew about this. I knew about it going into it that there was a chance that this bag would start to yellow as time went on. Uh, I didn't think it would happen within the six months, but it did, all right. Uh, and I am absolutely okay with it. So where it has started to yellow, it's not the bag, because the bag is still like stark, stark white. It's actually on this strap right here, uh, this leather strap. So on one side, it's stark white. On this side, it's a lot more yellow. And you guys are gonna be able to tell, hopefully the background and the lighting doesn't suck today. But there, actually you can see a little bit more. So this is all stark white, and then this guy right here is super yellow. And uh, I remember I was actually using this bag, we went out shopping, and I showed it to one of the associates at Chanel. And uh, you know, I showed her the bag, she's like, yep, it is absolutely started to yellow. But I, I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely okay with that. If anything, I feel like I can enjoy the bag even more now because it's almost like I had that yellowing thing in the back of my mind. Uh, and now that it's happened, it's like, that's a thing of the past that's no longer there. Now it's just enjoying the bag. You know, I don't even know if, uh, <laughs> if, uh, if that makes sense, but that is absolutely how I feel. No issues with the interior. There's been no yellowing in here whatsoever. I don't have an organizer. Um, and I also get questions if I prefer this size over the, uh, over the mini that I have. I do, I really do. I like the mini uh, and I do have to go a lot more compact, um, but some, I don't know, even though it is smaller than this one, I feel like that one is just, it feels a little bit heavier whenever I go to carry it, especially crossbody or on my shoulder. Whereas this one, even though it's a lot larger, I feel like it's more lightweight, which makes zero sense. But I think that this one is a lot more comfortable to use uh, than the mini, just because I don't feel like I'm fighting to fit items in here and fighting to get them out. That one isn't as restricting, but it's also not as easy to open up and get whatever I need for the day or what have you. So I really like the ease of this flap. I really like the ease of this size because it's so much easier to, um, to use in my opinion, you know? But um, I, I think that this bag is wonderful. And should the day come where the whole bag matches the strap, I'm okay with that too. And um, I, I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. Absolutely not. If I had to do it all over again, knowing that it was going to yellow in, what was it? Like four months, um, I would still buy it again happily, wholeheartedly, and without any issues whatsoever. Now for the last bag. I am so happy that some of you guys recommended it because it's perfect, especially since the holidays are right around the corner, and this makes for a perfect holiday bag, or in my case, a perfect anytime bag, and that is the Prada Crystal Bag, or the Mini Hobo Satin Crystal Bag, and this is in the color black. I've had it for a little bit over a year and three months or something like that, and it has been in constant rotation. I don't think there needs to be a special occasion. I don't think you have to dress to the nines uh, in order to use this bag. I love using this to go to the grocery store and the lights that the grocery store has at the produce section makes, makes this bag shine even more. And sometimes I sit there like an idiot just staring at the bag because it is so sparkly and it makes me so insanely happy. I think it's fantastic. I think it's fabulous. And if I could have this bag in every single color that it's been available in, I would. Uh, and crazy story is that it did go up in price. What is it now? 2,500. 2,500 is a little bit steep for like a, a satin crystal bag. Do I think it's worth it? 
absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, you know? I know not everyone feels that way, but remember, I'm a magpie. The sparkly, the sparklier it is, the shinier it is, uh, the more in your face it is, the more, it, I mean, the, the happier I get. Um, all right, so as far as how this bag has been wearing, um, I do have some pilling on this on the side right here, right underneath the crystal. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it or not. So I have some slight pilling there. Not a single crystal has fallen off. Um, and like I said, I've had this bag for over a year constantly using it um, morning, day, morning, noon, and night. It doesn't matter. I use this bag and no crystals have shattered. No crystals have fallen. The crystals are intact. It is absolutely amazing. I also have some pilling, pilling on the side right here. Usually where the, or where the suede, where the satin kind of pops through, especially on the corners, uh, you can see it a little bit but it's not, it's not too, too bad. For as much as I've used it, um, you would think that it would have a lot more wear, but um, it hasn't. I have some pilling right there as well. And I think it's because it's a little bit more exposed on this side uh, than on the rest of the bag. Now uh, on the black one, I do have an organizer in here. Do I think it needs an organizer? Definitely not. Um, but I do have an organizer in here from Samorga. And um, I don't know, just, I like the fact that it gives it a little bit more shape whenever I go to store it. Cause otherwise, because it's a little bit heavier on the zipper, this starts to kind of sag down to the side. And I think I've seen that on the pre-love market where some of them have this type of wear. You can see it right there, even with an organizer. So without an organizer, uh, it's gonna be a little bit more noticeable. Uh, but I just thought for aging purposes that an organizer would be perfect on this bag. But the handle, no issues there, absolutely nothing, no staining. Uh, it's, I think it's holding up incredibly well for what I've put this bag through. Absolutely. And I also had someone ask if I can bring out the white one because I also have it in white. With the white one, I don't have an organizer in here whatsoever. And you can definitely see this sagging a little bit more even on the sides. Uh, so just keep that in mind. This one doesn't have nearly as much pilling as the black one does. I've also used this bag quite a bit. Um, I definitely, I don't know, it depends. Sometimes on my mood, sometimes I wanna go for the white one, sometimes I wanna go for the black, but both of them have been in constant rotation. I don't have any staining on this satin. I haven't had any crystals fall off, like I said before. The one thing that you will notice is that the handle has started to yellow and it's gotten a lot more intense as the months have gone by, especially because I've used this bag quite a bit in the summertime and uh, it has started to, uh, it has started to yellow. Do you guys see that? Uh, let me, I know that this background is white. There we go. So you can see this is, has like that, that yellowish tint or that hue compared to even the, the little cubbies that I have behind me. So this guy has started to yellow. Even the leather has started to yellow a little bit. Not too, too bad, um, but the varnish is still intact. I wanna bring it up without making the camera do that funky thing. I might just have to include it, there we go. But yeah, so this guy, this fabric handle has started to yellow. The interior is still stark, stark white, a beautiful white satin. But um, yeah, so I have more pilling on the black one than I do the white. Uh, this one has started to yellow a lot more. And then of course the handle has started to yellow. And if you don't have an organizer, I feel like you see the wrinkling a lot more throughout the bag than if you do end up using an organizer. Whether you use it, uh, you know, to use it with the bag or if you use it to, to store the bag, I feel like the organizer ends up helping out a little bit and it doesn't have that, um, it doesn't have that creasing that's as noticeable, but neither one of the, these bags have lost their crystals. And that makes me insanely, insanely happy. All right, you guys, so we have made it to the end of this handbag update video. Oh, before I forget, the white Prada bag I've had for almost a year. Um, it was a gift for Christmas last year, so I just wanted to throw that out there as well. Uh, but again, we have made it to the end of this video. And let me know if you guys enjoy these videos, if you want a little bit more info than what I'm giving, because I know that these are kind of like mini reviews. I don't want to go into too, too much detail, but I also want to share the wear and tear that I have experienced with these bags and the amount of time that I've had them. But again, let me know if this is something that you enjoy. And if you do, let me know the bags that you want me to discuss next. But I love you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you guys in my next one. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.